Round one at Madison Square Garden. On the right of your screen is the lightweight champion of the world, Roberto Duran. And now just fighting out of Los Angeles. And as we commented earlier, was certainly the toughest competitor that Duran has faced over the weight. And Brooks weighing in at 143, Duran at 147. And Gil Clancy, Duran looks to me to be a little heavy around the weight. But right now, I would say his weight is about 150 to 52 pounds. Well, as the fight goes on, we'll watch to see whether that will be a factor. Certainly, Brooks is. He looks terrific. Monroe looks, he looks like a trained racehorse. There's not an ounce of fun on him. Look at this flurry by Durant. You know, Tim, this is going to be an interesting fight. We also have to see if Durant can take a look. He's knocked out 27 of his opponents in 46 fights. That's better than the 50% average. He can punch. Right now, Duran looks like much the physically stronger fighter. I like that little move he makes, Tim. You see, he, he, he throws the shot, takes him out of position. He can't get hit, and he can hit himself. One of the things that, uh, but he's really polished himself as a boxer. Yes, he has. Got hit with two vicious left hooks from his mind. The sheer joy of boxing is what you see with Duran, and if he gets his own. Well, I tell you, you know, Brooks has oh, good, that's not hit with a big right hand. But I tell you, I like Brooks. When he gets hit a good hard punch, he fights back. He fights hard. That's what keeps him in the ball game, Tim. Duran has lost only once in 64 career back to Esteban de Jesu. He revenged it with a victory for the lightweight championship. You know, Tim, you talk about the difference in the welterweight and the lightweight division. Probably that right hand that Duran landed. If he, had a, if he had a lightweight with that punch, I think the lightweight would have went down and out. I would sure think so, and it, it's uh, happened for him 50 times in 64 fights. Look at this. Duran really working on Brooks, but Brooks showing amazing spot in the gymnasium. Doesn't happen by accident. Now well, Brooks showing his class. He can't win the fight. Roberto Duran on the left of your screen, Brooks on the right. Two well-conditioned athletes in the town. And Duran, uh, so far through six rounds against a class opponent like Brooks has shown. Fighters in any other division. You have the two champions. You have Palomino. You have Cuevas. You have Benitez. You have Weston. You have Dave Green. Sugar Ray Leonard. Just a great, just a great class. And with Duran moving up into the class, it's probably going to be the most exciting class in boxing today. Well, there's a young friend. Tommy Hearn's getting a lot of attention. He's been flattening everybody in sight. He's going to be a factor soon against name opponents. Yes, uh, you mentioned his name uh, and all of the top welterweights managers shake. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll be trying to duck him for a while, but he's a name you're going to hear more about, Tommy Hearn. But right now, you're looking at Roberto Duran, the lightweight champion of the world, fighting at 147 pounds. He looks very comfortable at this weight. In fact, there's talk about about Duran maybe even becoming a middleweight at some point. Well, no, I, I, I would have to say that the welterweight limit is going to be it for Roberto Duran because of his, his height and, and his square build. But I think that he can handle the welterweights. He's going to be a factor and maybe even a champion in the short time. Good right look, hand. Look at those short punches he's landing on books now. Now, he's look at that look job. on his face, Gil. This is what uh, makes him so exciting. He just loves the combat. Under a minute to go, we're in round six. The crowd, Duran's fighting in credit to Monroe Brooks. Woo! Brooks is lucky Duran missed that one. Yeah, but he didn't miss the follow-up. <laughs> Much more than a fighter now. As always. See, see the way Duran follows up and throws a right hand, left hook comes right behind it. Final seconds of round number six. Yes, he is. Uh, Duran has been setting a tremendous pace, and he's been landing some heavy punish, heavy punches uh, to, to Monroe Brooks. And punishment. And any question about Duran's conditioning is uh, is moot now, because he whatsoever. I tell you, uh, Brooks still looks like he's in good condition, but he's starting to, to flinch when Duran faints. Uh, he's feeling the effects of the punches. So Duran, 63 victories, only one defeat. Did you, see, did you see Brooks try to jump up and down? That means he's not feeling his legs too good. He actually tried to feel and say, are my legs still there? And as the fight advances, and uh, that's a good point you make, Gil, the fight fans to understand what the fighter's trying to do at that point. See what he's got left under him. <laughs> Round eight, Moran just landed another tough short left. You can just see Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy. Brooks and Duran from Madison Square Garden in New York, round eight. Scheduled for 10. 
Rand just standing in there flat footed now, measuring. Whoop, down he goes. A hard left to the body. Left foot to the liver. A left hand by Duran, and really he had just staggered Brooks with the shots to the head, and that's all it needed was a good, tough body shot to send him down. And Brooks put up a great fight, but there is a happy Roberto Duran, an outstanding victory, and certainly now.